Hi, Wes Lee, and it's good to be back with you on the weekly Mesonet Weather Report. During a recent trip around the state, most wheat producers indicated to me that they have not been impressed with the forage produced from this year's crop. This wheat is from Enid and is about the best looking grazed wheat I have seen. For wheat to be successful, we need moisture, sunlight, nutrients, and a temperature range suitable for growth. Most of these things are out of our hands to control. Soil moisture is currently in decent shape in all areas except the Panhandle and the far southwest. This 10-inch fractional water index map shows stations with about a .7 or higher representing good moisture conditions. The best way to look at temperatures for wheat is with degree days. Degree days accumulate any time the temperature is above 40 degrees but no higher than 86. This table has degree days for Alva in the north and Tipton in the south as of January 14th. We see that the 780 at Alva is about 22% behind the five-year average. Tipton comes in at just 13% below the average. Cloudy weather has not helped either. This map shows less sunshine than normal for the fall of 2019. Hopefully growing conditions and forage will improve going forward. Now here's Gary with the first drought map of the year. Thanks Wes and good morning everyone. Well last week's storm system certainly helped with drought relief in far southeastern Oklahoma and we're hoping this week's storm will help with the rest of the state. Let's get to the new drought monitor map and see what we have. As you can see on the new map, we uh, lost those colors in far southeast Oklahoma, so good help with the rains there. But we do have a new area of abnormally dry conditions from southwestern up into central Oklahoma. And we also have that area of moderate to severe uh, drought conditions up in the western panhandle. So if we look back at 60 days, we see that dry tongue uh, pretty well from southwestern up through into central Oklahoma, all the way up into uh, uh, much of Payne County. Uh, we see those deficits, a percent of normal deficits, uh, generally less than 50 percent of normal over that time frame. And we go out to 120 days, we see much of the western half of the state continuing with those deficits, and we see a, con a continuation of all those uh, deficits from southwestern up into central Oklahoma. So that's the basis for that, abnormally dry, that tongue of abnormally dry conditions uh, in that region. Now if we take a look at the seasonal drought outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, this is valid for mid-January through the end of April. We do see drought relief expected in that uh, area in southwest Oklahoma, but that drought is expected to persist out in the western panhandle. Uh, again, that's just an outlook. It doesn't necessarily have to uh, work out that way. And if we look at the uh, short-term outlook, this uh, also from the Climate Prediction Center, this is for next week. Um, we do see increased odds, greatly increased odds, uh, of above normal precipitation right smack dab in the southern plains uh, and the high plains uh, across that area with uh, the drought conditions in Oklahoma. So maybe a good two weeks more of precipitation will help eliminate much of that drought area uh, across western Oklahoma and keep the other areas of the state out of drought uh, danger. That's it for this time. We'll see you next time on the Mesonet Weather Report.